Hey guys, Pastor Phil here from Calvary Chapel, Reno Sparks, just bringing you the next morning pursuit. And right now we're in a series called The Warrior's Creed, where we're looking at those men and women in the Bible that have a warrior-like faith in their pursuit of Jesus and living for the Lord. And I want to encourage you guys today. This is based on 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 3, which reads, You therefore must endure hardship as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Guys, you know this by now. Following Jesus is not always easy. We face hardships. We face tough things as we follow the Lord. Maybe one of those tough things that you faced in your life is pressure to conform a pressure to be like someone else or to, to, to do what someone else is doing or go along with worldly things. And in today's devotional, I wanna to talk to you guys about Daniel. Let me give you a little bit of background on Daniel first. You see, Daniel was um, part of the, the, the group of captives, the Jewish captives that were carried off by Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, when Jerusalem was captured. And he was brought there to Babylon where he was put into a school to be prepared and, and transformed basically into someone that could serve in the Babylonian kingdom. If you can imagine with me for a minute what that must have been like for Daniel to get uh, uh, pulled out of his home country, his home city, to perhaps see his parents be killed, uh, to be brought into a completely new nation with a new language, a new religion, new customs, all kinds of new things, and, and be put into this school where you're getting trained. Man, the pressure must have been so immense on Daniel to conform, to be like his friends, to be like others, to be like the world around him. But we read that Daniel didn't think that way. In Daniel chapter 1 and verse 8, we read, But Daniel purposed in his heart that he would not defile himself with the portion of the king's delicacies. I love that. Daniel purposed in his heart not to conform to the world. He could have caved in, he could have gone along with the flow, but he chose to put his relationship with God first, and that's really the key. He purposed in his heart that God was gonna be first in his life. What about you, my friend? Do you face pressures? Hey, the reality is we all do. But as followers of Jesus Christ, we have to be like Daniel and purpose in our hearts that we're gonna fear the Lord and put Him first and follow Him no matter what. So I encourage you to dare to be like Daniel and to put your faith first and to be that warrior who follows after Jesus. Whether you're in your school, your workplace, or your family, go for it. Have a warrior-like faith. And that's our Warrior's Creed for today.